my room kind of a mess don't look over there but it's fine because it's snowing and i'm so excited this isn't it's kind of right now a little bit more rainy but it did snow i'll show you so there's snow i'm so excited okay i have one assignment left for my walk-on classes which are my running start classes which at my community college so i'm so excited because i'm gonna hopefully finish that today and like i just have to like film some stuff and then like edit it and do like a voiceover and then i will be done with it and then i have class i have to leave for in 20 minutes that is literally just a pottery class and today's the first day of it so we're not like gonna be doing anything and it's at my high school so i'm super excited i'm gonna go to barnes and noble later so hopefully i'll bring you guys with me yeah so i'm super excited I'm gonna get some books for break. I kind of want to get Punk 57 because it's been all over my For You page and I've heard about it a ton and I've been in kind of a slump so I feel like it'll get me out of it. And then I'm gonna get It Ends With Us for my best friend because she's been wanting to read it and she's been asking to borrow my copy so I'm just gonna get it for her for Christmas slash her birthday. I'm getting her multiple presents but it's gonna be one of her presents. So that's the plan. That's the plan for today. Also, this is today's fit. Oh, let's move the hamper. This is today's fit. So I have this crop. It's not cropped, but I cropped it. It's this sweater from H&M, and I tucked it into a sports bra underneath. These, like, mom jeans are from Forever 21, and then I have on platform Converse. So that's the look for today. Super excited. Oh, my gosh. It's so slushy outside. I'm so glad I'm wearing platforms. It's going to be an interesting drive to school. So... Fun times. It is so cold. I just got done with class. My hands are literally freezing. I have to take my nails off for my ceramics class though, which is fine. Cause I need to take them off anyways. Cause they were like too long. They're getting too long. Um, but I'm so excited and I think I'm gonna go to Barnes and Noble now so yeah I'm super excited I really need to work on my final though today that's like really not a great angle I really need to work on my final today but the lighting is also really bad so that's that's the plan for today I had my one class I'm done with it and now I'm gonna go home so yeah look outside it's you can't even see because it's not focusing it was like snowing and now it's raining so that's disappointing i do have my winter jacket so i'm gonna wear that when i get to barnes and noble but i'm excited okay i just went to starbucks because i was absolutely starving i'm trying to figure out where i should put this to like to make sure it doesn't fall i was absolutely starving so i'm in this park i'm in a parking spot like yeah but someone gave me a super dirty look because i parked and like they were like pulling up to like go through the park like empty parking spots to like get to another place and so it was really awkward because she kind of gave me a dirty look but i was gonna get a breakfast sandwich but they're like all out of breakfast sandwiches apparently today so i got a lemon loaf which actually sounds really good and i was really worried because i wanted coffee and food but i really don't want to be spending money right now as i'm going to barnes and noble to go buy books but it's fine because that feels a little bit different i didn't want to spend money on coffee and food because I, I feel like spending money spending money on coffee for me is fine but like i really need to stop spending money right now spending money on food i feel like is stupid but i had a gift card left over for my birthday and it still had money on it which i didn't think it did and it does and then i just got a grande coffee so i'm already at coffee today and i really feel like i didn't need a big coffee i'm sitting in my car and it's on i just don't want anyone to know i'm in my car so i turn the headlights off I was listening to the Starless Sea on my Bluetooth on my in the car, and like, but when I started listening to this book, I started listening to it when I was flying home from Colorado, and I wasn't really paying that much attention because I was listening to it in the airport. So I'm like actually paying attention to it right now, and it's like really good, and I really like it. So that's I knew I would. I just had to actually pay attention. The books I want to get. I want to get punk i think i already talked about this but i want to get punk 57. i was looking at credence i think which is those two books are known for smut but i keep seeing them all over my for you page and now i want to read them 
and then I need to get it ends with us. I will probably end up getting different books, but it's fine. Okay, I'm ready to go to Barnes and Noble. Okay, I'm only 8% of the way done with the Starless Sea. You can even see because of the glare, so that's nice. But we're gonna go to Barnes and Noble. We have arrived at Barnes and Noble, and it looks super busy today, and that is such a huge disappointment. I was hoping it wouldn't be. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I spent way more money in there than I wanted to. I got super uncomfortable because the Barnes & Noble employee started talking to me about my TikTok and they asked me like why I haven't been posting as much lately and I was just like oh I'm busy from school which is true I haven't had time to read at all because I've been in a creative writing class and then this like other writing class like essay writing class and so I have like literally no time to read because all I do for class is read and then I'm like all burnt out reading um but yeah so I was slightly uncomfortable because I hate being talked to but it's fine I got way more books than I wanted to um buy one fresh baked cookie get 50% off a second one I feel like those are a scam and completely not worth it I'd have to buy two of them to get one half off um like I'd have to buy get two of them just to get this one half off it doesn't make sense to me I spent <laughs> spent or I saved seven dollars and ninety cents so that's good but some of these paperbacks are so expensive and I don't understand why but I spent $77 I did not want to spend that much money but it's okay because now I have books for break the book slightly got wet while I was walking out to the car it's fine okay so I went there for romance books right you're aware of that I went there for romance books um I got murder trending this looks so good and I wanted to read it when it came out in uh, I don't remember when it came out 2018 when it came out in 2018 I wanted to read it when it came out but I I didn't so I bought it now I have it now and look I even match it red black we got it um so all I know is that it's like in a society where they post about people dying like you can watch live someone dying so Welcome to the near future, where good and honest citizens can enjoy watching the executions of society's most infamous convicted felons. Streaming live on the Postman app from the suburbanized prison island Alcatraz 2.0. When seven, I love Alcatraz, by the way. I went and visited it in eighth grade for a school trip. Absolutely loved it. Um, I love San Francisco. If you're from the Bay Area, you are automatically my favorite. So, I I love San Francisco with my whole heart. Like I would move there if I weren't broke and didn't have family. When 17 year old D Guerrera, I believe is how you say it, I can't pronounce last names for the life of me, wakes up in a haze lying on the ground of a dimly lit warehouse, she realizes she's about to be the next victim of the app. Knowing hardened criminals are getting a taste of their own medicine in this place is one thing, but D refuses to roll over and die for a heinous crime she didn't commit. Can D and her newly formed posse, the Death Row Breakfast Club, prove she's innocent before she ends up wrongfully murdered for the world to see? Or will the postman's cast of executioners kill them off one by one? So this looks so good and I'm so excited because I have been in such a slump lately and it's so infuriating that I've been in a slump and haven't been reading that much. So I know the two book genres they really get me to read are murder mysteries and romances, which is really strange that that's what makes me read fast, but it just keeps you on the, keeps you on the tip of your toes and keeps you anxious. Um, so I'm probably gonna start this one first because this looks so good and I read the first page and it sounded so good. So that's the first book I got. I got this for my best friend so that she can read this. So I bought this for Trinity. So Trinity, if you're watching, this is for you. It's upside down. This is for you. I was looking at it too and I still didn't realize it was upside down. I need coffee because I haven't, I've only had one sip since I bought it. So Trinity, this book is for you. It ends with us. I'll explain what it is if you don't know what it is. I talk about this book all the time. It has Atlas Corrigan in it. Love Atlas with my whole heart. People walking make me uncomfortable. If he was a real person and like not fictional, would marry the crap out of him. Oh my gosh, I would marry him so fast. 
so it ends with us follows lily and she hasn't had like that great of an upbringing like her childhood wasn't that great it was actually rather traumatic and so it just yeah like but she seems to have made it when she moves to boston and life's going good and she has this new boyfriend he's a neurosurgeon Neur neurosurgeon if i can say that i just can't pronounce random words but his name's ryle you've probably seen all the stuff about ryle on tiktok in the neurosur neurosurgeon i can't even talk and so everything's great but he has always had this rule that like he's not gonna date anyone like he doesn't date at all until he meets lily and then he's like mm -hmm, i'll make an exception so he does and they date and it's going great until it's not and then her first love atlas comes into the picture and she's like oh hey what's up and she realizes she's still in love with him even after all this years these years i believe that's not a spoiler and so you can imagine what goes on from there there are i will put a trigger warning there are trigger warnings for domestic abuse so if you are not comfortable reading that or it triggers you do not read this book because there is a lot of domestic abuse and manipulation in this book so that is a serious point serious note that i'm mentioning <laughs> i feel so uncomfortable the thing is i'm 18 years old i am 18 years old i did highly feel uncomfortable walking around with this book because i have heard that it is very smut filled at least it's not ugly love oh my gosh that book is all smut and i was reading on a plane i read the whole thing on a plane as someone suggested that's uncomfy yeah i've never been that uncomfortable in my life oh my gosh i was shaking in my boots and the worst part is my uncle was the one sitting next to me that's terrible and it's just all smut oh my gosh it was so bad so bad um it was a great book i didn't love it as much as i thought i would but i think it's just because i was uncomfortable and this is a spoiler if you haven't read this book yet do not listen to the next words that come out of my mouth i'm serious so like skip ahead like just skip ahead i don't i'm not gonna put a timestamp because i'm too lazy to do that but just skip ahead so oh my gosh and i started laughing so hard when um tate found out that his girlfriend was pregnant his stepsister oh my gosh i start i started laughing so hard and my uncle goes what why are you laughing like what are you reading yeah try to explain that that you're laughing at a book called ugly love because he knocked up his stepsister that's awkward anyways the next book i got was credence by penelope douglas to be honest i have not this is a thick ass book that's big oh someone's walking right there i'm uncomfy yeah so like that's a big ass book and i literally have my camera up too this is so awkward and she's like right there she's old so it's okay she'll probably die soon yeah so i really don't know what this is about except i know it's very smut filled because lola on tiktok was talking about it and because it's in her december tbr and she was like yeah it's not very holy of me and i was like great sign me up yeah anyways i'm gonna be reading this this month so that that's that that is that i'm excited though <laughs> um because i know it'll get me to read a ton Oh my gosh, they just backed into their parking spot right in front of me. I'm just, okay, people who can back into parking spots honestly impress the crap out of me. Like, how do you do it? I can barely park, like, forwards. And the next book I got was Punk 57 by Penelope Douglas. I've seen this all over TikTok. And I... It was only a matter of time before I bought it and read it. So, now, now is that time. I don't really know what this is about either, except, like, pen pals. So, but then, like, and they, like, don't have contact to each other or whatever. Like, social media, and then, like, suddenly they do. So, there's this book. Um, I've heard this is also very smut-filled. So, we're gonna be reading this over break. Because, like, also the thing is, 
every year I set my Goodreads TBR. I also got then box in the, the box in the woods, which is the final book in the Truly Devious series, which is like very much so young adult, which is funny because then the other three books I got are like adult books. And then I get this. But I love the Truly Devious series, so I'm I'm reading this. And I'm excited. I'm excited about it because I know I'll read this fast. Cause I oh my gosh. The Truly Devious series is so good. I loved it. If you need like a mystery, like murder mystery, like it's like clue, but like boarding school. But it's so good. It's literally so good. I love it. I cannot recommend that series enough. And the thing that makes me just makes me so happy is that Maureen Johnson, the author, her that's her author photo. Let's see if it'll that's her author photo. It's so I love it. It just fits the vibe so well. Ooh, this is a hardcover. I wanna see what it looks like. Naked. That's boring naked. Um Do you think if I broke it I could just walk in and return it? Like sorry, it came damaged. So this is the last book I got. So that's exciting okay yeah because i got five books but only four are for me so i feel like that's okay i feel like that's fine i need to take off my jacket because i do not want to drive my jacket on but every year i set my goodreads goal as 50 books which you think i'd be able to do it i literally talk about books online all the time but no i'm only at 25 books which isn't like that's like nothing that's literally nothing if you've read 25 books or less that is a lot. You are doing what you can. But I feel like I should be reading more books. But each year, I continue to just read like 25. And then set the next year as 50. And like be determined. But it never happens. It's fine. I'll just, I'm going to read these four books during break. That will get me up to like 30. And I'll be like fairly okay with it. Yeah. So I'm going to go home. And I need to work on my final project. I have never been so uncomfortable. She walked literally right past my car. Yeah, so that's the plan. I'm gonna try to get my fin for the final project done and then we're gonna start one of these books. I just got back from Joanne's. I ended up running with my mom and I immediately put on sweatpants when I got back. This is the vibe for right now. Uh, well, I did not even do that. So t-shirt, sweatpants. I need to clean, but I wanna show you first what I bought. It totally reminds me of something a grandma would have, but I absolutely love it. So it's this little candle. It's like, it was literally $3, but, and it's like sea salt and driftwood. So like this is sea salt and then this candle that I already had. They're both, this is ocean air and moss and it's like the crackling wood one from, this is from Target, this is from Joanne's. But I think it's so cute then after it's like done melting it would be so cute to put like earrings or like rings or something in it. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna light this because it smells pretty good. It's like, it's like the sea salt and driftwood smell and it's like literally like, there we go. So yeah, it's literally just a cute little candle. Um, so yeah, we're gonna light that. Beautiful. So cute. Here's the plan. I'm gonna clean and then I'm gonna work on finishing my final project because I need to finish it so bad. And then I'm going to start reading these books. So that's exciting. I think I'm not starting with this one. I think I will probably start with Murder Trending because that sounds really good right now. That's kind of the book I wanna start with. I just can't get over how big Credence is. That's huge. I need to wrap that. So I'm probably gonna start with this book. And I need to film another, I need to film another video, like a sit down talking video about my favorite books of 2021. But I might wait to film that until after I get done with more December reading. Okay, so I didn't, uh, I didn't think it would be that long. Me talking about me sitting in my car after Barnes Noble, but it was very long. So I didn't know if I was going to make it like an actual because i was gonna have it be like a reading vlog but i didn't film like really any clips of me reading uh after that and that the first part of the video was super long so i did read murder trending 
this is today's Thursday. I went to Barnes and Noble on Monday, but I read this book. I finished it Tuesday and it was so good. I highly recommend it. It's it's so fast paced and keeps you on the edge of your I'm also in pajamas right now, so it keeps you on the edge of your seat and you're like constantly like panicked and there's so much murder in it and there's a little bit of romance and it's so good and it kept me interested the whole time and definitely got me out of my reading slump. So if you're in a slump, definitely read Murder Trending. I just I really love the cover, but I hate it because it's like the matte, so it's like it smudges and you can tell. But I did in fact order the second and third book in the series after reading it. So it's good because I haven't read it in so long and I haven't finished a book in so long. So this got me out of my slump because I last night I just started The Box in the Woods and I am tabbing this book. So I'm starting to tab it. But I'm on page like 20 of it so far. I'm not that far into it, but I'm gonna start reading tonight. And yeah that's the plan i might make i'll probably film like an actual reading vlog instead of this is just like kind of a short like going to the bookstore and buying books vlog so i hope you guys enjoyed i had it's so nice to be on break and to finally be reading again and to actually have time to do it so i'm so happy that i don't have school work for at least a couple more weeks I'm so excited don't forget to follow me on all of my socials at Leah Marie Books. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!